Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and today we are trying something brand new and that is the perfect timing, Marsh the Lunatic has arrived. So today we are trying out a brand new mod, this mod is apparently crazy, what it does is it adds like time trials to Terraria, like it adds a sense of urgency and if you break those time trials then an apocalypse starts that can't be ended so this is going to be like kind of like a speed run let's play it's going to be a lot of fun i'm excited i've never played this mod before the creator of the mod ham star actually leaves everything very vague and i actually know pretty much nothing i i can kind of guess i can kind of see where he's heading with this but i actually have no idea all i know is that a brand new world a lunatic will spawn and something is going to happen something mad and so what i've done is i've made a new world here is my little base I've got an area down here which I haven't explored, and that is all I've seen of the world. So it's going to be fresh, me and you guys. I want to set some things up first, though, including all of these houses. Right, so let's begin. Wait, actually, I want to kill this. Uh, I want to get rid of this slime. Okay, apparently, if you if you get rid of the NPC, it could be hard to get him back. Find any interesting mass you'd be willing to let go of. Not like it's important or anything. O okay, give boss mask. <laughs> good one, but seriously, you do have a mask, don't you? Please. Where to find a mask? Keep an eye out for a big eye. No, really. Okay, well, we can't do anything. So we can go to his shop. He will sell buffs. Okay, he sells buffs. Nice. Oh, cooked marshmallows? Nice, nice. Well, all these buffs are, uh, are not in our price range. Okay, so we have to get him a mask, a boss mask. Kind of like Majora's mask. Right, so I guess it's a speed run to the Eye of Cthulhu. So, when it's not about the masks, this is essentially just uh, vanilla Terraria. So, all the mods I've got is basically boss checklist, which will show us what bosses were beaten. I've got item, re item recipe, in case I actually forget any crafting. And I've also got where's my item. So, I guess the first thing we have to do is to go and go on the ground and try and get some starting things. So... This is where I mined out a bunch of stone, so we're going to go to the left, and we'll see what's here. So this is going to be a, uh, a complete series going through the whole game with this new sense of urgency, and if we end up having uh, an apocalypse, then the series ends. So we're doing this in normal mode. I hope to do this again in expert mode if this turns out awesome, but we'll see. Right, okay, already wasting time, so I'm just going to go here like this so i don't think he's gonna want to uh i don't think he's gonna want anything until we give him that first mask so i think we have kind of a nice starting point we could easily head to the uh to the jungle go make ourselves an amazon and uh and go and grab an eye of cthulhu mask probably well an eye of cthulhu summoning device that suspicious looking eye thing we could definitely do that right cactus armor um sure i'll take it i've got a little bit of wood left i do need to get some more admittedly Okay, we're going to grab all of this. We're going to grab all of this. So this should be something very unique. Like, I've never done anything like this. This is why it was so exciting. This mod was made a couple of months ago. I had it recommended to me on the forums, actually. Somebody tagged me in it. And uh, and I saw the tag and was so busy that day, I completely forgot to read everything. And then uh, I came back to it and I was like, oh, yeah, this seems cool. This seems cool. Okay, there we go. Right, we're good. We're good. It doesn't matter. Can you make cactus crafting benches? I feel like you can. Yeah, you can. Right, what armor can you make us? I don't know if I've got any full pieces. Here we go. Right, I'll take that. And I'll also take a, uh, a cactus sword because it's slightly higher than a normal sword, isn't it? I'm get rid of these flying fish. Get out of here, buddy. Get out of here. Right, cactus sword. Well, I haven't got enough, so I'll just grab some more. Good thing cactus is so easy to grab. Right, cactus sword. Okay, away we go. Away we go. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna <laughs> leaving things behind, but I am actually gonna take that. Uh, I'm gonna take that crafting bench. Nice. And we'll use that later on for the Amazon, and we'll alt favorite that. All right, all good. So this area is looking pretty good. Let's see what's around here. Strange looking plant to begin with. That's gonna be good. Good source of money right there. So I'll take that. And then now I don't know whether I want to delve deep or go straight to the jungle. 
I feel like maybe I'd, uh, I'd die straight in the jungle, but hey, this area ended up being pretty bad anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I've got some uh, some rope here. So what I did was, in my starting area, I set up a few chests so that we can organize our stuff as we go along. And I made three NPC rooms. So I made one for the guide, I made one for the cultist, and then whichever one we get first is kind of our starting NPC. I thought this would be about time trials, so that's why I set up the, uh, the rooms to begin with, just so we just have a little bit of a start. Got a good amount of day bloom as well. I think I've got like four on me now. How many? Yeah, I've got four. Not bad. Fifth one here. Awesome. I'm going to grab some wood while I'm here just because these trees look pretty tall. And it's going good. It's going good. There's going to be a real sense of urgency. I love it. I love it. I've not done anything like this before. And I'm bringing you guys along with me here on Chippy's Couch. So if you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with this series. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get hectic. I really feel like it will get hectic. I don't know if I can even do it. That's the fun of the challenge. But we can always do reruns, right? <laughs> sure we can. Okay, up we go. Alright, I'm going to rope up here. This world actually seems alright. I'm actually pretty happy with this world. I've had two good worlds in a row now. I had one for my live stream series. And Senex was telling me about how she's had some awful words, <laughs> worlds recently. And I've got one good one here. It was making me laugh because Senex was like, Oh, I've had awful worlds. And when I have a bad world, I pray to Senex and Red. You know what I mean? I pray for that Aaron Jesus. <laughs> Who have they got to pray to when, when everything goes wrong? <laughs> Alright. Jump. Okay. Climbing claws. I'll take it. I'll also take this chest. This chest is going to be good for, uh, for starting up. And I'll also take this iron. So you may see me uh, skip a lot of ores in these uh, in these early episodes. It's not necessarily that I uh, I like skipping ores. It's just that I just don't particularly have a need for a lot of ores, especially in normal mode. Because in normal mode, I'm usually all right. It's only expert mode where I really should have stopped for ores, but I always forget. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I'll grab these pots. Hmm. Hey, another starting chest. Herb bag. Let's see. I'll I'll, I'll actually open that in a little bit. And the wonder sparking. Well, they are terrible. Look at that. World world played is right there. <laughs> well, I could get the quick route. We got played. Alright, so this should be... Yeah, this should be our jungle because we haven't hit an ice biome yet. So I'm really guessing this is the way of the jungle. Okay, loot all of that. Getting a lot of potions. Alright, another corruption. This isn't too good. We could have done without this, if I'm honest. Alright, so we're starting with the die trader. Interesting. I don't start many series with that. Okay, well that'll be good though, because then we can buy those, uh... We can sell the die and buy some buffs. Okay, this is going to be hard. I don't know if I can... I, I think... This is the thing. I think I might be fine because it's normal mode. It's usually it's usually expert mode that I absolutely get stomped in the corruption when I'm trying to just run through it at the beginning of the game problem is the longer you spend in here the longer fighting the more like the more that you get it's annoying swapping between platforms and, and weapons is always the worst here right okay I wish I'd uh well to be honest I mean what could I have made stronger at this possible point in the game hey oh my god look at that look look at that look nice nice Aaron Jesus is on our side Woo! We're putting our, uh, our good prayers to red. And Senex, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Have I got any grenades left? What do you think, guys? Grenades, good idea? Probably. Probably. Okay. There we go. Right, awesome. Right, so we need some vines. We need some mahogany wood. And we're also going to need some stingers. Like I say, this will be a challenge, guys. Okay. Alright, if I can get a grenade kill on this one, it'll make it a lot easier. If I can just get a vine, please. Come on. Do it for the vine, dude. Alright. Hmm. Not too good here. Alright, well I may take... So I'm going to be here for a little while. I may take shine and... Do I have... Yeah, I thought I had iron skin. I'll take iron skin as well. Just to help with the... Uh, to help with the process. We should be good though. We should be good. If I take this, 
If, I, if, I, if I'm lucky, essentially. If I'm lucky with the enemy spawns, I should be okay. Right. right. That's not a good place to be throwing grenades around, is it? Next to this one. But we'll do it anyway, because we're, we're rebellious, and we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Right, up we come. Okay. Right, so I'm going to chop down this tree while I can. So let's look at what we've got. We've got a good amount of stuff. We've got a good amount of stuff. I'm happy. So yeah, we're going to need stingers, spores, and uh, and of course, a vine. But we should be good. Should be good. Look at me. trying to. I'm trying to build up my own confidence. <laughs> I actually do have the stuff for... Uh, for potions to make, actually. And I do need to make some kind of bow and arrow if I'm going to survive down here properly. Okay, I don't want to get caught up with the bats and get knocked off. Okay, it's about three full swings on a bat. That's not too bad. Right, okay. Okay, starting, starting thing. Not bad, not bad. Right, okay, let's go down. I'm gonna need to make like a little hidey hole in a second. Oh my god, that goes down for a while. Oh. Okay, our hidey hole is here. Okay, this is gonna be our hidey hole for a second. Just need to make sure it has an airflow. Not bad, not bad. Right, this should do because I managed to, to glitch the water a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make... I'm going to place down my uh, my workbench. I'm going to place down... I've got a bottle, I believe, like an empty bottle. Okay, and then I'm going to make a regen potion to take with us. And then I'm also going to trash a few things. So I'm going to trash the Wonder Sparking, the mud, the acorns. I'll probably trash these, these... Um, and I think, other than that, I don't want to trash much else. I've trashed a spear. And then I'm going to use that iron there to make an anvil. Okay, so now we have an anvil. And then I also wanted to use a bit of iron for, um, for actually making a bow and some arrows. But I don't know necessarily if we're going to have the, uh, because we don't have a furnace with us. We're going to have the stuff here for that. Okay, let's see, let's see, furnace, can I plonk this down, and, oh, maybe I can plonk it down there, will that still count? Okay, well, that's a bad spot, right, does it work here? No, okay, I'll take that back, I'll take it back, All right, I'll put a block down instead, All right, I'll put my furnace down, okay, and then I will... I'll make up a bunch of iron. Alright, and then we will put our anvil down. We will then make a bow. So we'll make an iron bow. We'll make a bunch of arrows. So I should have enough stone and stuff. Yep, to make a bunch. And then I'm going to make some flaming ones. But I'm going to have to make some more torches. Then now we should have a bunch of flaming arrows. Right now, I think this is what's going to get us through the jungle. Like I think this is our uh, this is our goal here. So let's have a little look. Ammo. Oh my god, I'm tapping out. <laughs> All right, this is what I'm going to use. So Amazon. Hey, it's got a resprite change. All right, so it's mahogany wood, two stingers, one vine, free spore. That's so cheap. Honestly, so cheap. I'm so surprised they haven't nerfed that by now. Alright, I'm going to grab everything. So we're good to go. I'm going to take my regen. Just in case we need it. And I'm also going to equip that uh, that rose as a vanity. Because now I look good. Right? You agree? You guys agree? Alright, our shine potions run out. That probably, yeah, our iron skin has run out too. I'll take that now. And I'll take one of these as well. Just take to help navigating. Oh... I'll also take that. 
See, I was debating not taking that because I also want enemies to spawn. But then now I'm kind of thinking, well, if we can, you know, we can still get the chance to get our loot. It's just going to take a little bit longer. But it also means we'll probably survive instead of dying straight away. So I guess I'm okay with it. Okay, I will have to keep looking up, by the way, what uh, what the crafting stuff is. I will forget throughout the throughout the course of this what the Amazon thing is. That's a classic chippy move. If you're new here, that's that's classic chippy. Okay, nothing to be alarmed about. Okay, right. So, band of regen, more shine. Happy about that. Okay, let's relax a little bit. I was too busy uh, too busy looking at that thing. Okay, so let's get rid of the tattered cloth, the sand blocks. Let's get rid of the vine rope, the stone walls, and the support beams, and the cactus thing, and the blocks, and the vile mushroom. Okay, and I need to equip my bow, so I'll put this on the hot bar up here. Just like that. Favor all that. Make sure I've got it all locked down. Okay, now we're good to go. So I did see a little, uh, yeah, I saw one of these, a hornet. So what we want to do is we want to lure a hornet into the house to uh, to get its stinger. Oh, okay. Hey, good chance for a hornet kill here. Oh, I do need to improve my accuracy a little bit, though, because that's kind of challenging. Right, so one stinger down. So I, I think we just need one more, right? Okay, let's go for the second Hornet kill. Okay. Right, so there's the second Stinger. Right, I could just do it for Vine now. Right, I'm going to have to uh, to sit here a second and just wait. Shouldn't take too long. Once again, just to look this up, I just have to make sure. Yeah, so it's two Stingers, one Vine, three Spores. Okay, that's not necessarily good. Do I have any grenades left? I don't. I don't. That's okay. All right, this gives a vine. If it gives a vine, we're literally set. Right, okay, it didn't give a vine. Okay. Okay, Hornet Man, get out of here. Right, we're going to go for the bee kills. Oh my god, they actually do so much more than I was expecting. Oh my god. Right, I won that iron skin. <laughs> oh my god. I wasn't expecting that. Right, well, we still really need our, uh, our spores. So I'm going to just press onwards. Okay, any, any spores around, game? Any spores you want to give up? Hey, heart crystal, I'll take that. Hey, spores, awesome. And hey, more spores. And more. Okay, we're good. Right, do I have a Spelunker potion? I don't. I was going to say, it'd be really good if we could uh, have a quick way of finding those uh, those chests that we need. Because we're going to need the chest for the, uh, for the suspicious looking eye. Although, when I did seed race with Python... We uh we found out that it's probably just quicker to uh to not rely on the RNGs and actually just make your own. But hey, that's RNGs for you though. It could be completely different in this little uh mod playthrough. Ooh, okay. All right, I'm in a really hard place here because I I'm really bad with those spike slimes. See, I'd rather take the hit from that man eater than trigger that. Oh my god, thanks for the vine, dude. Okay, okay, we're good. We're literally good now. That is, that's actually it, right? I think that's it. So let's put down our anvil. Can I craft the Amazon yet? I might be, uh, I might be doing this wrong. Yeah, right? Have I got it all? I think I've got it all. Or maybe you craft it, let's see. Yeah, you craft it in anvil, so... Mahogany... Oh, I didn't grab all the mahogany wood, or did I use it? Ah, okay. Well, I knew I had to grab someone. I must have just 
you know, when you're just speaking and you just forget. Right, okay, well that's fine, that's fine. It's an important item, but like, we can, we can wait a sec- Oh, snap. Okay, let's do this. Right, I want to get down to that, uh, that little hut down there, that's what I could really do with. Oh, let's take the heart crystal as well. <laughs> that might help. I'll grab this silver ore as well, just in case we can make anything with it later on. Nice, it's a good amount of silver ore too. So this is good. This is good. I'm feeling really productive right now. I'm actually feeling really good about this so far. Nice, nice. This turned out to be something uh, something pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy with our first day. Pretty happy with it indeed. So we should be able to do the Eye of Cthulhu tonight. And, uh, and submit a mask. And that will begin the actual time trial. And then from here it's just gonna, it's just going to ramp up. So once again, if we die, if the apocalypse starts, it cannot be stopped. That's the funny thing. So... If that happens, it happens, right? And that's that's the fun of the series, finding out whether can Chippy can do it or whether I cannot. What do you guys think? You can leave your predictions right now if you'd like. But hey, who knows who'll be right? I don't even know what's going to happen. All I know is that it's very intense <laughs> and that people seem to really like this kind of thing. All right, down we go. All right. Fingers crossed for, uh, oh my god, a double shrine. Fingles, fingers crossed for the suspicious looking eye. Three, two, one. Boomstick, I'll take it. Right, just going to have to get rid of a few things here just to make sure I've got space for everything. Okay. Um, right, so I've still got everything. All right, okay, that's good. I'll take the, uh, I'll take the chest as well. Uh, I don't have a grapple hook. So this is probably not a good idea to be going down here like this, but I hate these guys. I hate them. I'm honestly so bad with them. Okay, awesome. Hey, suspicious looking eye. Awesome. Look at that. Nice. That was a good amount of time as well. Archery potion? Yes, sir. I'll be taking those. Right, we can get rid of these shuriken now. I'll take that chest as well. Right, so we've got two more shrines to go through. So this is turning out pretty awesome, right? If I was to make, if I was to, we've been really lucky so far, but if I was to say fingers crossed on anything, cloud in a bottle, please. Cloud in a bottle. Okay, it's a magic mirror. It's another suspicious looking eye. Silver, which I could actually do if I'm going to get rid of, uh, I'm going to get rid of these blocks for that. Water walking, I could also use those. I'm going to get rid of the rope. Better healing potions, I'll get rid of platforms for. And glow sticks, Can I, uh, I'll just grab those. Okay, we've already got a stack of 99. Oh, I can't scroll anymore. Oh, I've got that scrolling bug. There's a little bug in Terraria at the minute where uh, sometimes it just doesn't want to scroll for you. Okay. Right, so which will be the best way here? I'm guessing probably... Going up and over, probably up and over. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this way. Right, so I'm gonna take another mining potion and get going. And I'll also take a shine here just to help out a little bit. Right, so we have a snatcher there, and we also have a chest. So, like I say, fingers crossed for a cloud and a bottle. Not gonna lie, that would probably make this uh, this uh, first little bit really, really uh, good. Because I need some kind of extra mobility. I've been playing way too much modded. I've completely just messed up my mobility. And then what we should definitely do is after this, we should definitely find a normal underground cave, so that we can actually do some um, some some gem hunting to get some proper uh, a proper grapple hook. Okay, come up here, spike slime. Okay, that one's dead. Right, we should have the health for this snatcher. Obviously, we're going to have to be a little bit risky because here you kind of have to stick your head out a little bit. Right, it's doing 29 damage per hit anyway, so that's not too bad. Oh, come on, snatcher. Stop playing games with us. Right, there is another snatcher that could pop out. So, I'll grab the, uh, the anklet. I'll grab that. Um, I'm going to leave those behind for now, I think. Uh, 
Okay, so we are back in the homeland. So it's time to start organizing things. So I'm going to do one just for uh, for crafting materials. Look at this. I'll do I'll add these uh these nature seeds in there for a second. This what I usually do. So these are all crafting. Oh, I didn't grab the mahogany wood. I didn't grab the mahogany wood. Well, that's okay. All right, we want that for crafting their blocks. All right, let's smelt some stuff up. So we'll smelt up the uh, the iron. And we'll smelt up the silver. And we're looking good. Okay, and I'm going to put down this anvil. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to go get that mahogany. I'll wait until the night time and then we can do the, uh, the Eye of Cthulhu together, all right? And we'll do it twice. We'll hand in our first mask and that'll be the end of, uh, of episode one, guys. So, star in a bottle here, just because we can. Alright, and, uh, and we'll build this out, yeah. So, I'll be right back, and uh, and we'll do this. Alright, so it's now night time. I have my mahogany, so it's time to make the Amazon. Bam. And then, I was also kind of thinking of making a, uh, a bit of string. So, I'm going to grab some iron. I'm going to grab a chain. I'm going to make up a, what, was it a sawmill. Is it called a sawmill? Yeah, a sawmill. Alright, so we'll place our sawmill outside because we don't have the room. And then I'm going to make a loom out of that. I'm going to place the loom down inside. And then I'm going to grab a, uh, let's see. A bit of, oh, actually, I need my, uh, I do need my cobwebs. Okay, so let's see. One piece of white string. So we can actually just keep making these until we get a better buff. Uh, I'll go I'll go with that. I'll go with that. And then I'm going to replace that with that. And we'll crush that. Okay, so we're almost there. There's only a few more things I need to make. So potions, I'm going to place down one of these. Grab out some water bottles. Go into nature. I'm going to make a regen. And then I'm also going to use one of the iron skin we already have. Actually, we don't have iron skin anymore. So, let's see. In the ores tab, I don't have... Oh, wait. Here I do. Okay, open up nature again. Make an iron skin. And then we should be good to go. So, I'm going to buff up. We don't have a grapple hook, admittedly. And we'll get this going. This should be quite easy. This should be quite easy. I'll get my Amazon out as well. Just to do this with. Okay. Right, so I could be using a I could be using a bow and arrow right now, to be honest. And it'd be better at getting rid of these little minions, and it also does the on fire buff. So I don't know which is better. Probably the uh, probably the Amazon, but uh, this is good for the uh, the little minions. And we'll be ready to give our first boss mask over, and then things should uh, should start spicing up a bit around here. But so far, I've actually been so impressed with my first day. I'm actually really happy. The world's been great to me. We got some good armor, so we got that we got that naturally occurring uh, shadow scale armor. We also got some good accessories. We managed to have a good jungle. We got two suspicious looking eyes instead of one. And it all just kind of went together really nicely. It was good. Okay, let's see. Uh, right, your little minions are coming out. Okay, now it's in its second form. This should be fine. Okay, let's see. Alright, you're all good. Ooh. I can fool you, my boy. Vanilla Chirari, it's been a while. It's vanilla modded, I love it. It's basically vanilla with that spicer modded into it. Perfect, okay. So what do we get? We got, oh, so it gives you two masks. Contains latent spiritual essence. We also got the trophy to kickstart the series. My dudes! Alright. The masks, they are captured essence of a powerful beings. Great collector's items. Also good for saving the world or destroying it. Give boss mask. A genuine eye of Cthulhu mask. Much thanks. That wasn't really Cthulhu's eyes, by the way. We tried getting a real one, but it saw right through us. Right through us. I require 14 more masks. So guys, things are about to get pretty hectic 
in the shop we can now buy suspicious looking eyes. Can I give it another one? Okay, very nice, but I've already got the Eye of Cthulhu mask. You should try persuading a giant slime to give you one. Oh, okay. We can do that. All right, well, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Things are about to get real spicy up in here. It's going to be good. And uh, thank you for checking out this new series. And if you want to watch more, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. That's the best way to keep up to date with all things Chippy Gaming. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.